Hi and welcome to Math Together. In this lesson we'll be focusing on 8a and 8b. So 8a states the point P and Q have coordinates 7, 4 and 9, 7 respectively. Find an equation for the straight line L which passes through P and Q. Give your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equals 0 where A, B and C are integers. The first thing I like to do is write the general equation of the gradient. So the gradient is gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. At this point, I'm going to write down the coordinates and label them. So we have 7. 4, 9, 7. 7 is x1, 4 is y1, 9 is x2, 7 is y2. I'm now going to substitute those values into the equation. So we have seven minus four divided by nine minus seven, which gives us three over two. So the gradient is 3 over 2. So, so far we have y equals 3 over 2 x plus c. So, how do we find the value of c? Well, to find the value of c, we're going to substitute either point p or point Q into this equation. So in this case, I'm going to use point P. So Y is 4, and X is 7. So 3 over 2, open brackets, 7, close brackets, plus C. So 4 equals 21 over 2 plus C. I'm now going to make C the subject. So again, I'm going to subtract 21 over 2 from both sides. So we're left with 4 minus 21 over 2 equals C. Therefore, the value of C is equal to minus 13 over 2. We can write the equation out as y equals 3 over 2x minus 13 over 2. Now, how do I eliminate the 2 at the denominator? I'm going to multiply it as reciprocal from both sides. So we're left with 2y equals 3x minus 13. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides and plus 13 to both sides. So we are left with 2y minus 3x plus 13 equals 0. I'm then going to multiply everything by minus 1. Multiply everything by minus 1. So we're left with 3x minus 2 y minus 
13 equals 0. Therefore, the value of A is 3. B is minus 2. And C is minus 13. Eight B, the straight line M has a gradient eight and passes through the origin zero. Write down an equation for M. We know that the straight line M has a gradient eight and passes through the origin zero. Okay, so we can write Y equals eight X as our final answer.